hope that like attitude squealing didn't bother you too much. Welcome, District 17. We're doing your May reading for this current year. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want a personal reading, hit me up in my email, my Facebook page, or my Instagram account that is listed down below. You know, my Instagram is mainly just memes and shit, but I'm going to be putting my videos that I put on here, on here, with a link in it, with a short video, so you can see if you like it. Okay. Also, I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight, where I'm going to be doing the uh, soulmate readings, and then I'm going to be taking questionnaires. I'm not, like, charging, charging, but, like, you guys can, like, drop $5 for whatever questions you want to ask. Three questions tops. Because I know you guys will probably think of ways to get more. <laughs> My mother sure fuck as fuck would. Oh, okay. Like, you're dealing with this? The trails and shit? That's not good. No bueno. Alright, we'll just... Wow. Okay. Apparently the cards just decided to pick whatever for you guys. You don't want to wait anymore with the three of pentacles. What you're wanting to wish from for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the queen of swords right there. We have the emperor right here in the fears and rejections. Chariot right there. Ace of cups reverse in the fear, not the fears, the um. Uh, Obstacles and challenges coming against you in the chariot sitting in the situation where you want to move forward. Catalyst as well as the final result is your card. <laughs> you just going in that cave and analyzing shit like you always do. But the beginning theme being taking things from the past and moving forward from them. With the Six of Cups reverse. Okay, cool. So, my dear Virgo. Ugh. Leo's reading just shook me a little bit because it's like I'm married to one. It's just like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I don't know. But let's see what's going on with yours, Virgo. With this waiting and shit, you're tired of waiting for a commitment. You're tired of waiting for someone to get their act together. Um, which is what you do. <laughs> Like, that's what you guys are basically in that vibration of, I think. It's like, I've been sitting here waiting for this person, and I'm just tired of waiting for them to commit. I'm tired of waiting for them to bother, to try, all that jazz. And the situation, the situation below with the chariot, you're ready to move forward. You're gathering your armor. You're going to protect yourself as you move forward. And that's an illusion. You're not, go you're not going anywhere. Like, you're ready to move forward because something new with your emotions. Having the moon playing tricks in your emotions. Feeling like a puppet on the string. Maybe you're tired of that shit. Maybe someone's tired of you doing that shit. But it's like your emotions are constantly tied to, I want to leave. I want to go. But I don't know if that's the illusion of the moon or you realize that you were under illusion and that's why you want to leave. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who is kind of an enemy in your house, coming against you, having people go against you. You're trying to establish yourself. You just don't know how to get out of the situation to begin with. And there are a lot of risks when it comes to this home because some motherfucker got spies watching, waiting, trying to catch you, possibly fuckering it all up. Right? Right. Someone's going to be mad because I keep cursing. It's just going to be like, no, 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 no. Queen of Swords and your wants and wishes. Could be Libra and Gemini Aquarius, but it feels like what you're wanting with this person is like bleeding a tree dry, trying to make magic happen, even though the thing is dead and should be and should have burnt in a fire a while ago. You're trying to make things work, I think. I think you're tying yourself up in your emotions and like. Like, Virgo, you have a habit of letting your emotions get to you. A lot like Capricorn does, but when you go, you fucking go. Like, Capricorns explode, you just melt the entire fucking planet when you have a breakdown. And then everyone's like, oh my god. It's like, it's just that perfection thing. When things don't go right for you, you just lose your shit. And I feel like, you know, 
you ready to take off is like it's like putting you in a frenzy like you know that your emotions are getting played with you just don't know how and it's like your defense mechanism is like i gotta fucking go this is setting me off you know and, and then you go into like a two-hour rant about i don't know whatever it is you come up with because that's what my mother would do when she gets flustered what's going against you and the challenges and obstacles ace of cups and the Page of Pentacles reverse. Could be a younger Earth sign. Could be you. You might be being immature and not really giving anything of substance. Because you just don't give a fuck anymore. Like your cup's empty and it's just kind of like, I'm not doing any... Everything I give you is going to be sabotage. That's how that's going to work. It's like you're a acting out very immaturely. Um, I'm not going to say you're being an idiot though. Because it's it's very, like, well, that's not true. There was can be idiots. But it's like, you're putting on the facade of being somebody who can't do something right. Or maybe you feel like you just don't know how to perfect an apology that you can't give. And you just don't feel like working on a period. Now, this emperor right here could be Aries. Could be your masculine, if that's what you want to call it. Could be just someone who is in charge, right? Someone who is in the authority of power, um, the authority of possession, just an authority, period. Um, they got their mind held back from the truth. Like, they're restraining the truth back. They're not looking at things clearly. They're not trying to with the Ace of Swords reverse. The catalyst as well as the beginning here. God damn it. The catalyst as well as the final result. The beginning and the end. What started this and what it is still ending. This is you, Virgo. The alien traditionally known as the hermit card. This is you going inside to analyze and really look at things. Um, look at a sneaky behavior where someone got caught and like how it fucked up the house. And now you're keeping secrets while you're keeping an eye out, possibly. Or it could be that air sign who's keeping an eye out, honestly, to, like, figure out what the fuck's going on. Hey, I got hanged now. God damn. Look at this after I'm done, because I'm going to get distracted if I do that. It's yours? Yeah, you, you're looking inside, and you're just being like, I should really fucking nail this stupid ass. This is you, Virgo. I really feel like this is you. If this is not you, this is someone doing this to you. But I really feel like this is you, because y'all do this sometimes. Sometimes you just get on people and tell them how not how they're not doing something right or how they're not getting whatever or something. But it also feels like someone could be doing this to you where they're just constantly on your ass about shit. Even though you brought them a rose to show how much you love them. It's like no matter how much love is shown here, Someone's always getting shit. And the person who's in control, that emperor, is not seeing things the way that they should be. They're not actually getting clarity or understanding that what they're doing is kind of like... You know? Constantly. The ending theme? Oh, broken heart. You're taking that broken heart and moving from it. Look at that. As above, so below. Oh, Virgo. I'm sorry. That's probably why you're moving on with, with such a, a fury and with the moon attached to you like you're a puppet. Maybe a queen of wands involved, but I, I feel like this is you trying to sit pretty and just be like, I'm going to stay in my power. Um, you're going to moose me, you stupid motherfucker. Moose me. Miss me. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're not ready to go to not take an offer, but being left out in the cold is definitely going to cause you to feel immature. Not immature, insecure. I cannot say anything right today. I got pee. But the ladder's scary. Yeah, you're really contemplating on going ahead and being dickish about it, too. Um... Because, like, you've offered so much to this home, and now I feel like there's still a bunch of stuff that you're not done with yet. Like, you Virgo have a hard time letting things go. No, not letting things go, but losing people or things. That is, that's your deal. You have a hard time, like, moving like that. 
Kind of like Capricorns, how they don't like change because it just fucks with us because it's just like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Like, Capricorns are directors in the Zodiac sign. I can't remember what this... I think... I, I can't remember what specifically you are in the Zodiac, Virgo, since, like, Capricorn is director, um, Taurus is producer. I want to say you're provider, almost, but it's like... I don't know, man. It's like... If, if, if there's no control that you have... It fucks you up because, like, earth signs just have to have some foothold somewhere. What is this? Is someone cheating? Did something... Well, yeah, probably. There's a three of swords right here. Someone... Something got broken up here. Harshly. And now I feel like someone's out here partying while they do it. And behind all this stuff where someone's just picking on somebody and causing them to go in their head and someone not really seeing the bigger picture of what they're doing is the facade of a happy home. There's still an open door somewhere. Like, even if there is a breakup going on with a third party or whatnot, there is an open door waiting for y'all. So no worries. Like, you're going to get your shit. As you so deserve. So... That's yours, Virgo. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys stop by for the live stream. If not, no worries. Take it easy. Bye-bye.